Hello fellow golfers, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. In this video, I want to talk to you about an often overlooked skill that I see 90% of golfers do. The results are usually a wicked hook or a wicked slice. And this is simply in one of the very first things that you do before you start your golf swing. Before I get into the lesson, if you're new to the channel, please take some time to look through my entire channel where I offer over 130 free golf instructional videos that'll teach you everything you need to know about the Your Simple Golf Swing method. If you want to learn the swing from beginning to end, I've had some students about a year ago ask me, hey Matt, could you put together a course that just starts from the beginning to the end so we don't have to piece together all 100 and some odd videos that I had at the time. So I've created an online course and you can find a link to it down in my description. Okay, let's get into today's lesson. So golf is a series of events built on skills that you need to master and you need to hone. And then you piece all these skills together and you'll have the most efficient, effective, and powerful swing. But where I see golfers get it wrong more often than any other area is in their simple setup. Now you may be thinking, oh, this, this video is about setup. I'm not gonna bother watching this. Well, that's one of the problems. One of the problems is everybody takes the setup for granted. And I have seen it cause people struggle with their swing more than probably any other skill. There is a skill that needs to be learned and honed in the setup. And I'm gonna cover that right now. I'm gonna show you how your setup is setting you up to slice the ball or to pull the ball. Okay, so let's get right into it. So we know that golf is, as Mike Dunaway says, it's, it, it's all about measurements. You gotta get the measurements right in order to be able to have the most efficient, effective, powerful golf swing. Well, when we set up to the ball, I see a lot of golfers, they'll put their, their hand on the ball, or they'll put their hand on the club here, their left hand here, and for most of us, both of our arms are relatively the same length. So when you put your hand on the club, you see the right hand or the left hand or the lead hand is up high like this. And the right hand actually has to get longer. The right arm has to get longer and get down here to get under this hand. All right. Well, how do we most golfers do that? What most golfers do is they actually set themselves up in a way that when they go to put that right hand onto their club, they're actually reaching down and reaching around like this to get that hand, the right hand, lower than the left hand. Well, what that does is that automatically opens up your club face, or opens up your shoulders. Now the shoulders are pointing that way instead of down parallel to the target line. You have no hope but to take the club back to the outside and then come outside in on your forward swing. If your face is a little bit late, you're gonna get a big wicked slice. If you close it too much, you're gonna get a wicked hook. You're gonna be fighting right and left army golf all day long out on the golf course. So what's the proper way to set up? How do we make sure that we keep our shoulders parallel to that target line when we set up with our driver, all right? There are a couple of ways to do that. The way that's taught by Mike Dunaway and Mike Austin was very simple. You have your left hand on the club, and then all you do is you've got to lower this right shoulder. And the way that they did it is they just kick this right knee in a little bit. When they kick that right knee in, then that arm was able to fit under there nice and easy. And in doing so, take a look at my shoulders here. Shoulders are pointed this way, right? So I'm gonna kick that right knee inward a little bit. And now when I reach, I can comfortably get this right hand under the left hand and my shoulders stay pointing the same direction. Let me show you that from this side. Again, what most people, what most golfers will do is they'll reach down like this and that opens those shoulders up. But if we simply kick this in and then reach, now we stay square or parallel to the target line. Another thing that golfers would do because they're reaching like that and opening their shoulders, what they'll do is they'll open their stance up, trying to compensate, trying to, trying to think that if they open their, if they aim left, now they're gonna be able to get rid of that slice. Well, that just accentuates and exaggerates that slice. And then they start using their hands to whip through quicker. And what that will cause is that will cause you to close the face too, too quickly and you'll end up hitting a big giant hook. 
So work on that setup position. Check yourself, just go grab a club right now where you're at if you can. Act like you're setting up to the ball. Take your normal stance, the normal way you set up, and then just take a look at what direction your shoulders are pointing. If you're pointing to the, to the left, or if you're a lefty and you're pointing to the right, chances are you've reached down and around to get that right hand onto the, that club. You don't want to do that. Again, the Your Simple Golf Swing method is built on a series of skills when put together are going to give you the most powerful, efficient, and effective golf swing. And it's also going to give you the most accurate golf swing. So this is a skill that you want to work on. You want to constantly do this. Even when you're out on the golf course, just get out there, set yourself up. Before you take your swing, double check your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are still parallel to that target line. Then you can just put the club back down, put your hand on, and then go ahead and go. This is a simple skill that you can do on the course. You can do it on the range. You can do it on your backyard. But you need to practice it and be conscious of it. I will tell people about this, show it to them, and then we'll get out, get out on the course. And they'll go ahead and line up, and they'll be standing like this. And I'll say, hold on, hold that stance for a second. Let me put a club down, and I'll put a club down by their feet. And all of a sudden, they're like, oh, my. And I'll say, look, you're aimed at the woods over there. And it just blows their mind, and they can't figure out why they keep doing it. A lot of it has to do because they have not worked on that simple skill of setting up to the ball properly. The Your Simple Golf Swing Method teaches you every single skill that you need to hone. If you don't master, I can't say this enough, if you don't master each individual skill, you're not going to be able to put them all together and get the most out of your, out of your swing. So don't overlook the, your setup. Don't overlook how important this skill is to make sure you hone it. You will get to the point, like me, I don't line up to the ball with my left arm anymore and then kick in and make sure I got everything. I naturally, because I've worked on it so much, I can just step up, I can put both hands on the club, I can set up and I already know that my sh shoulders are tilted a little bit and I know that they're parallel. But I worked on this skill and I honed it. And you gotta make sure that you don't overlook this simple thing. It'll make a huge difference in the direction that you hit that ball. Slices rob you of distance and power. Pulls are no good because, you know, we've heard it said you can, you can talk to a fade, but you can't talk to a pull. And that simply means when you pull that ball, it's gone. Uh, in the woods, in the lake, uh, way out of play, okay? So work on this skill. You'll find it'll make a huge difference in your ball contact, your direction, and your distance. Thanks for joining me. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and have a great day.